Hey everybody, this is for Small, the owner of CMS Law Firm. We do estate planning, we do probate, we do it well. Today, I wanna to talk about whether or not you should replace your parent's power of attorney or uh, others, uh, family member or whoever else is under has a power of attorney that you're worried about. Before I get to that though, I wanna remind you, if you have questions about this or anything else related to estate planning or probate, please go to estatemeeting.com. They set up a time to talk with us over the phone or in person for free, actually, I'm not in person right now, only over the phone, estatemeeting.com. Okay, so this, as usual, was a call that I had today with a potential client. The potential client was um, not in a good place. Uh, parent is aging, uh, power of attorney is named, and there is some dispute amongst the family members and the family member that's been named the power of attorney. And this is a, quite a common occurrence. I, I take calls like this all the time, but it wasn't until today that I sort of actually was talking this out and came up with some um, things to consider before you move toward trying to remove the power of attorney. And the main thing that I want you to consider is this. If the power of attorney is doing their best and acting with the uh, the person person's interest in mind that they are supposed to sort of be responsible for that is that is one of the best places that you can be all right that's so that's step one to keep that in mind the second thing to keep in mind is that just because someone is doing something that you don't agree with doesn't make it wrong okay we can all have different ideas for the thing the way that things should go in the way that people should be taken care of and the decisions that should be made but just because someone is doing something that we don't agree with doesn't make it wrong. Here's the third thing to consider as well. When it comes to families, we all have these um, these roles that we adopt, whether we are assigned, or that we are given, um, or that we own, that come into play when these these family dynamics surround around taking care of a parent, um, sort of sort of a uh, bring up, right? You know, the person that's been always sort of the screw up or the person that's good with money or whatever. And all these things come into play. All these relationship dynamics come into play. Plus, add on top of that, that the person that everyone cares about, you know, the parent, is, is struggling from a health perspective, from a mental perspective, from some sort of a perspective to require the need for the power of attorney to step in and actually help out. All these things coupled together can, can create some animosity amongst people, some infighting, some bickering. And so when it comes to deciding or thinking about whether or not you should try to have the power of attorney removed for your parent or for your loved one, consider whether or not they have that person's best interest at heart. You know, the power of attorney has a fiduciary duty to act on behalf of, of the, the person that they are representing. If they are doing that, and if they are making those choices in that way, I would really, really reconsider trying to remove them, and I would probably push you to try to find some way to have a conversation with them without without emotions involved, without heat involved, you know, without obviously any bickering or name calling or anything like that involved. Try to figure out where everyone's coming from and then try to find a way to just ensure that everyone's voices are heard and to find solutions that um, obviously protect the person who needs the help of the power of attorney, but also make sure that the family has input and feels heard, okay? That's kind of a big, big thing. So if you are having a problem with the power of attorney, please consider step one. Do they have the person's best interest at heart? Are they making decisions coming from that perspective? If they are, then I would really think long and hard about talking to that person before just trying to remove them, okay? Now, if there's a situation where the power of attorney is acting um, um, against the interests of the person, they are stealing, if they are you know, inappropriately using money, that's a completely different story, okay? But all these things come into play. It's very important to, to think about these things and, and weigh them heavily because it can be a very expensive process, a very taxing process emotionally, and um, you know it can just can do more harm than good sometimes. So if you are thinking about this, please consider these things. Please try to have a conversation with that power of attorney. Understand that just because they're doing stuff that you don't agree with doesn't make it wrong. And just do your best to work all the way through. All right, that is it. As always, if you like this video, please hit the like button. 
If you have a question or comment, please leave it. If you know someone needs to hear this, please share it with them. And if you have questions related to estate planning or probate, please go to estatemeeting.com. Set up a time to talk with us over the phone for free. Estatemeeting.com. Okay, that's it, everybody. I am Christopher Small. I'm the owner of CMS Law Firm. We do estate planning. We do probate. We do it well. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. I appreciate you, and I'll talk to you again soon.